BERT On Demand allows you to deploy live BERT designs and dashboards that can be run in real time or scheduled for automatic updating. For this functionality, your BERT On Demand account includes a secure database pre-installed to BERT On Demand RDS, a hosted database server based on Amazon RDS. You can automate synchronization between BERT On Demand RDS and your local databases by leveraging Taland Open Studio, a powerful open source data integration tool available via a free download at Taland.com. Taland Open Studio makes it easy to set up data loading and synchronization tasks. For this tutorial, we will upload and synchronize a locally installed MySQL database to BERT On Demand RDS. This exercise assumes that there is no pre-existing data or schema in your BERT On Demand RDS database. To ensure connectivity between BERT On Demand RDS and Taland Open Studio, you must open port 3306 for DNS name db.birdondemand.com in your network firewall. In preparation for setting up a scheduled database synchronization, you must first create a trusted connection to RDS by logging into Bird on Demand as an administrator access level user and clicking the account and user management icon in the upper right toolbar. In the account administration console, Click the Data tab, then under Trusted IP Addresses, enter the IP address that you will connect from, and click Update IP Addresses. Next, under Database Information, note the required information for connecting to the RDS database. Look for and record the database name, username, and password. This information will be used to connect to the RDS database from Taland Open Studio. Next, launch Open Studio. In the Welcome screen Action property, select Create a New Local Project, then click Go. Provide a name for your project, then click Finish. In the Project property, select your newly created project then click Open. We will begin by creating a connection to our local MySQL database. In the repository view, expand Metadata, right-click on DB Connections, and select Create Connection. In the Database Connection Properties, give your connection a meaningful name. For this exercise, name the connection Local MySQL, then click Next. In the DB type property, under Database Settings, select MySQL. Input appropriate user credentials, server, and database name for your local database. Then click Check to confirm successful connection. Click Finish. Now we will retrieve the schema from our local database. In the repository view, right-click over your newly created local MySQL database connection and select Retrieve Schema. In the Schema dialog, accept all default selections and click Next. Under Select Schema to Create, select the tables necessary for your application. When all your selected tables display Success under Creation Status, click Next. Optionally review and adjust schema properties, or simply click Finish. Now that our local database connection is established, we will create a second connection for BERT On Demand RDS. In the repository view under Metadata, right-click on DB Connections and select Create Connection. In the Database Connection Properties, name the RDS connection BERT On Demand RDS. Then click Next. In the DB Type property under Database Settings, select MySQL. Provide the following database settings, substituting your own username, password, and database name in the highlighted areas. Click Check to confirm a successful connection.
click Finish. Next, create a job that will upload your local database schema to Bird On Demand RDS. In the repository view, right click over Job Designs and select Create Job. In the New Job dialog, provide a name for the job, then click Finish. Open Studio's Designer view makes it easy to visually lay out the flow of data from our local database to the Bird on Demand RDS database. In the repository view under Metadata, expand the Local MySQL connection, then expand the Table Schemas folder. Click on a table, then drag and drop it into the Designer view. Under Choose One Component to Create, select T MySQL Input, then click OK. Next, drag the Bird On Demand RDS connection out of the repository view and drop it onto the Designer view next to the Local MySQL Table Schema component, leaving a bit of space between them. Under Choose One Component to Create, select T MySQL Output, then click OK. Now we'll map the flow of data from our local table into BERT On Demand RDS. In the palette view, drag a map component out of the processing menu and drop it between the local MySQL table schema component and the BERT On Demand RDS connection component. Next, right click and hold over the table schema component, then drag your mouse pointer over the map component and drop which creates an input arrow from the table to the map. Then right click and hold over the map component, then drag your mouse pointer over the Bird On Demand RDS component and drop. When prompted, create a name for the output, then click OK. This creates an output arrow from the map to the RDS database. Now that the flow of data is established, we must map our local table to the RDS database. Double-click the Map component, which launches the Map Editor. In the left pane, you will see your local table schema, with all fields listed. In the right pane, you will see a blank table list, since there is no corresponding table existing in RDS yet. To create the table schema in RDS, select the fields listed in your local table schema while holding down the Control key. Then drag them onto the right-hand pane and drop onto the blank table list. This creates a one-to-one -one mapping of fields between your local table and RDS. Click Apply, then Yes to save. Then click OK to return to the designer view. Next, adjust the output component properties to ensure the schema is properly transferred. Double-click the Bird On Demand RDS output component, then in the component view under Basic Settings, change the following settings. In the Table property, enter the name of the new table that should be created in the RDS database. This should be the same as the table name in your local database. Type the table name in double quotes. In the Action on Table property, select Create Table If Not Exists. This will add the table to the RDS database. In the Action on Data property, select Update or Insert, which is the optimal setting for regular synchronization between the two databases on an ongoing basis. Save your project. Repeat these steps for the remaining tables in your local database. Once all your table schemas have been mapped to RDS and your job is saved, you can run the job at any time by clicking the Run button in the Run view. You will receive confirmation of successful upload and synchronization. To verify successful upload of the schema and data to RDS, log in to Bird On Demand and click the Data icon in the upper right toolbar. Click the Databases tab, then click your account database in the list. You should see all your new tables, with all the data that has been uploaded from your local database, under the Structure tab.
Talent Open Studio has made it easy to push our local database to Bird On Demand RDS, and we can manually synchronize the data anytime by simply running the job. Next, we can automate the process by scheduling the Open Studio job to run in an unattended mode. For scheduling, Open Studio creates a cron file that can be run by any cron scheduler. Cron schedulers are built into Unix and Linux systems, and there are many free cron scheduling utilities for Windows. Simply Google cron for Windows and install the tool of your choice. In the Open Studio job, click the scheduler view. Then click the Add Task icon to add a scheduled task. In the Add Task dialog, click the ellipsis button next to the job property and select your Bird On Demand RDS synchronization job. Then set a schedule for regular execution of the job by clicking the available calendar and time options. Once your schedule is set, click Add This Entry. Lastly, to save the schedule as a cron file, click the Save icon and specify a save location for the file. The cron file can now be used in any cron scheduler to execute the Open Studio job on your specified schedule. As a final step, we will establish a secure socket layer, or SSL, connection to RDS for encrypted data transfer. In the Open Studio job, double-click the Bird On Demand RDS connection under Metadata in the Repository view, then click Next. We will add parameters for an SSL connection to the Additional Parameters property. Bird On Demand makes it easy to add the necessary parameters. Simply log on to your account, click the Help icon, then click the link Managing and Connecting to your data. In Section 1.5, there is a snippet of text that you can copy then paste directly into the additional parameter property of your RDS connection in Open Studio. Since there is already an existing default parameter in the property, be sure to change the duplicate question mark in the string to an ampersand, which will properly append it to the existing string. Click the Check button to verify secure connection. Then click Finish. When prompted by the Modification dialog, click Yes, then in the Update Detection dialog, click OK. Save the job. Now data transfer to RDS will be encrypted via SSL whenever this Open Studio job is run. Talent Open Studio makes it easy to upload, synchronize, and automate secure data transfer from your local databases to BERT On Demand RDS enabling rich, real-time dashboards, interactive reports, and ad hoc analysis.